Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video we are going to discuss about KMM. This is a quick introduction video of KMM and I will be posting videos and tutorials for creating Android and iOS applications using KMM. So what is KMM? KMM stands for Kotlin Multi-Platform Mobile. It is a cross-platform SDK used to develop applications for Android and iOS and it is explicitly refers to sharing Kotlin code between Android and iOS. And if you think KMM is similar to Flutter, then it is not. In Flutter, we only have a single code base, Dart, which will contain UI code, business logic, data logic, and API calls. And we have a working application that will run on multiple platform. But in KMM, it is a little different. We share the Kotlin code containing business logic, data logic, API calls and the core Kotlin code between Android and iOS. And the UI and the things specific to each platform need to be implemented separately. So simply in KMM you will have all your business logic for example repositories, HTTP clients, entities, use cases, interactions and view models in a single Kotlin code base. And we'll have two native code bases for UI for Android and iOS separately. It means KMM does not implement any restrictions on how you develop your app's UI. So you are free to use any framework you want, including the most modern ones like Jetpack Compose for Android and Swift UI for iOS. And the best thing about KMM is it allows you to share what you want to share. KMM was developed to help developers use their business logic between mobile platforms and also write platform specific code where it is necessary. Like implementing native UI or if you want to work with the native platform specific APIs in Android or iOS. So it provides you the access to use the power of each platform to its fullest potential. And also you can use KMM as you want. Here are some examples. You may decide to share only the data logic using libraries such as Keto or SQDelight, keeping the business logic and presentation layer in your native code. You may also have business logic and data logic in KMM and the presentation layer in your native code. And if your app is similar on Android and iOS, then you can have your business logic, data logic, presentation layers in KMM allowing you to share view models, view controllers, use cases, navigation logic and much more and just have the UI code in the native platform. And at last, there are two considerable limitations of KMM that you should know. First one is you will need a Mac to develop the iOS app because you will require Xcode to create a native iOS app. And if you wonder what Xcode is, then it is an IDE similar to Android Studio but for iOS. And also you will need a Mac to run the iOS emulator to test your applications. If you only want to create Android applications using KMM then you can do that with Windows and Android Studio. And of course you can later develop the iOS version of it with Xcode. And the second limitation is all the libraries you use in the shared section should be entirely written in Kotlin. Which means you cannot use retrofit for handling REST API calls because it was written in Java. So instead you have to use Keto which is purely written in Kotlin. And don't worry if you don't have a Mac, just start KMM with Windows and work on your development skills, create projects and always try to learn something new. Now I hope you have a clear understanding of what KMM is, how KMM works and how to use KMM to build your own cross-platform apps. That's all for today's video. I appreciate your time and attention. If you found this video helpful, then please show your support by liking it and subscribing to my channel for future videos. See you in the next video.